Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisode. I'm Lene Gehrig and today from our friends at Penny Black, we have a gorgeous collection. We have this beautiful little butterfly cutting die, the coordinating stencil, and a gorgeous embossing folder. And you guys together, they make cards just like this one. My friend Debbie made this and this is our giveaway card for this episode. So if you stick around, you'll learn how one lucky viewer can win this card to keep or share with a friend. So come play with us. All right, let's take a look. This is what the butterfly die looks like. And then, I'm gonna demonstrate this all very soon, but then what Debbie did was then we take the stencil and then you go over it and use this to add your color and your details, okay? And what's really great about this stencil is, is all the pieces are numbered, okay? And they ha you can so you can tell which direction they're gonna go. So if it's on this side, you can't read the number, but on this side, oh, it's going the right direction. And they also give you all of the directions here for the layers. Very, very nice. I tried it out this morning, works great. All right, so also, we've got this dots and dashes embossing folder. And this is what it looks like, freshly embossed, okay? Lots of beautiful texture on that. All right, so let's jump right in and look at what Debbie did. All right, so this is a six and a half by five inch card. So for the background here, okay, Debbie has used Flower Queen 12 by 12 pattern cardstock. She used this one right here, this beautiful black border, just goes right here at the bottom edge. And then she used to cut a little oval in that she used 10 oval and scalloped cutting dies, okay, right there. And then she also made a little window frame by taking two of these straight dies and nesting them together on this yellow paper. And then she went ahead and she cut this little frame out, okay? Then she took the frame and put that in the embossing folder, ran that, remember, fold side first through your machine. Now this is six inches wide, it passed through my big shot without any problem at all with a six inch wide platform. And um, then she took that out and she used an ink pad and I believe she used a little bit of letterbox, okay, to color in those little dots. Just use the surface of the ink pad and I'm gonna demonstrate that later. And I'm also gonna demonstrate how she did this coloring on the butterfly. So we'll focus on the butterfly now and then we'll focus on coloring the, on the dots next. So for the butterfly, let us grab my craft mat. Come on, craft mat. Oh, it's always just like one inch farther than I can reach. Okay. So what we're gonna do is take our little butterfly. Okay, die cut that first and then we're going to start off with the 1A. We're just gonna put that right over the butterfly. Now you can take a little purple tape and you can tape this down, no problem. We'll find the end of the tape. Or you can just hold it by hand because we're gonna not be using it long. So we're gonna just do the former. We're just gonna, there. All right, now. Debbie used um, little dauber tools. And we have them in two varieties. We have a great big pack of them like this, which I love to just carry around and that way I have all the colors I need. And then we have the smaller collection. I'll link both of these down below. And I always put a rubber band on it, even though it has these great little sliding things. I'm bringing this from home, like in my car, and I thought, I'm just gonna put a rubber band on it just in case. Um, I've never had it explode open, so it's been fine. All right, so the first color we're gonna use is this uh, warm honey. So I've got my little warm honey one. Okay, we're just gonna get our dauber nice and honeyed up here, and then we're just gonna apply this yellow, you know, pretty lightly. This ink pad gave me trouble the last time I used it, and I think it's drying up, so I need to remember to get another one. 
All right. So she used it pretty vibrantly there. So we're going to just see how that looks. Okay, I'm going to set this aside so I'll remember to get another one. All right, then take this one off. And then the next layer is right next to it, 1B. And we're just going to align this little center piece here. Tack that down. And then for that one, she used little letter box. Let me make sure. Yes, she did. <laughs> There's so many different colors, I just wanted to make sure. So we've got our letter box red. Do that one. That. I'm just going to keep this out because I know I'm going to use it again. Okay. And then the next one we're going to use is the little polka dots right here. Now, on this one, when you align the polka dots, you'll notice that I got to align it with the yellow, putting it directly over the yellow. All right, you'll notice that it right here it's not covering I mean it's not covering this little part right here and at first I was like what's the deal with that and Debbie explained that it's for shading purposes. Oh, oh, okay. So with this one, we're taking an orange color. It's tangerine. And we're just going to take some tangerine and go right over this. Okay. There we go. And then the next step, I'm looking on the little thingy here. Next step is we're going to do the big wings. And we're going to use tangerine again. We're just centering this stencil on the white piece. I'm going to tape this. Hmm, where shall I tape it? If I tape it up here, I think we're just going to have to tape it here. All right, and then we're going to take that tangerine. There we go. And we're, <laughs> you guys, I think I figured it out. Let's do this. Let's tape this side down. There we go. And then we'll just switch it. All right, so we're going to do tangerine on this side. And then we're going to do, switch this over here. And then we're going to do, well, geez. Okay, we're just going to do one side of the wing because it's irritating me. All right, so we got one side done. Now we're going to do 3B, which is we're going to put these sort of leaf almost details. And to do that, we're going to go back over that with a letterbox. Go. All right, and now we have to do the little body part, which is right here. Okay, and we're just going to take the little black one and we're using charcoal on this one. All right, then you guys, what Debbie did on hers was she actually took just like a Sharpie marker and she went around the edges just to give more detail. So just taking that up a notch, going around that. Just 
just like that. Okay, you get the idea. So let's take a look at Debbie's again. Beautiful, and I love how she took the butterfly and she sort of tucked that right in there, okay, before gluing this whole top piece on. And then she like glued it here with the little foam tape. This is all foam taped on there. And then she added her little Get Well Dazzles, and that is from the We're Together Dazzle Sticker Collection. And she used this black one hiding in here. Black, brown, beautiful. All right, good job, Debbie. Thanks for hanging in with me, everybody. Okay, so let's move on. Got more to show you. Okay. So now, let's move this out of the way. I wanted to show you this card that I made. So this one, this Thinking of You, I actually did this on black cardstock. So let me show you this one right here. So it's embossed on black. And then I just took the metallic gold ink pad and I just used the surface of the ink pad and I just went over it just like that. Okay, just like that and look at that. So easy to apply that. And then I just glued this to a five by six and a half inch card. Because remember that this is only six inches wide. So um, I went ahead and glued that there. And then I took some gold Miri cardstock, metallic cardstock, and I just took a strip of it like this and I just ran it through the machine. But I want, made it a little bit wider, a little bit longer than the card because then I just took this and I just lined it up with the pattern. Okay, so it was just a little bit longer, and then I was able to just line it up and then glue that down. And then at the border between the two papers and this one, I added a little mm, gold dual dazzle sticker that just peels off so easily, just like that. And then you just adhere that there. So I also die cut some of these gold butterflies or the gold Miri cardstock, and then I ran each one through the embossing folder and then I foam taped them together just like that and then here just added these beautiful little crimson color red flowers here and then one here on the border and then this is just the same collection of dazzle stickers with the thinking of you just added that right there so this one also this was very easy to do you guys but um, yeah I think it's um pretty glitzy, right? All right, so let's look at another one. So this is a slimline card. This is eight and a half by three and a half inches. And Debbie covered the card with this one, News Print, print Florals 12 by 12 pattern cardstock. Wow, patterned cardstock. And she used this side of it right here, this print. All right, and then she used our little round, corner rounder tool and rounded the corners, okay, inked the edges. And for that, she used, let me make sure, got all these ink pads. I want to make sure we get this one right. She used Earth Red, which of course I forgot to grab, but she earth, used Earth Red ink around the edges. And then here, look at these beautiful colors that she used. So she used the same stencil tool, okay? And she used Earth Red Cocoa Bean right here this is the brown cocoa bean and this is earth red here and then just a very light application of earth red didn't she do a great job beautiful and then yeah i just foam taped this just the body part right there this hello friend is from the same collection of dazzle stickers that i showed you for the greeting all right last one all right this is a six by six card debbie used from Hunky Dory, the deckle edged card blanks. So these come in three different sizes, the largest being the uh, six by six, this huge pack of them comes with envelopes too. And what she did was she took her ink pad and she inked the edges of the deckle so it looks like it's matted right here, but that's just ink, that's just a color of ink. 
And then she did mat it with Chantilly lace, solid cardstock. And then this one right here is from Chantilly lace right here. And then she dyke, she just went ahead and cut her piece and then ran it through the machine with her embossing folder. Now, I should mention, when you're doing this, Debbie suggests, well, we both suggest, it's just a good idea, to um, put your paper there and then we just mist it with a little bit of clear water. You don't want it wet, you just, you just want a smallest amount of dampness, and that way when you shut this and you're running this through fold side first for your die cutting machine, it gives a better impression, right? So then when you take this out, just make sure it's dry. You just might have to let it sit out or hit it with your heat gun for like a minute, just to make sure it's really, really dry. And then we're gonna use, instead of the ink pad surface, all right, I wanted to make a correction on this one before we continued on this. This color right here, okay, she used blush. <laughs> I found it on my desk. This is the blush and that's the red, okay. So, so on this one, you guys, we have got um, red pastel, which is beautiful, and this charcoal, I mean this uh, cocoa bean. So let's take our blending brush and around the outside edge, okay, we're just gonna go lightly around the edge, and I'm just gonna kinda do a corner here. Just like that. And then that just colors that in so nicely. And then if you want a more vibrant color, okay, we're just gonna go over this part as well because we're really tinting the entire paper as well. And then you could just add just the sm smallest amount of the direct ink pad right there. And that's just gonna darken up that pattern and make it just pop so much. And then she did the same thing with the charcoal with the butterfly right there after running that. So you die cut the butterfly from the pattern paper, run that through the um, embossing machine, and then she colored this one with the cocoa bean. And then this is a cutout from the paper pack. And then this right here, the little gold details are from, here we go, the Thin Line Dazzle stickers. Okay, in the gold. Beautiful. All right, you guys. This is a really fun collection to work with. There's lots to do with it. I think you can see it's really versatile. So let's take these out. Okay. So don't forget, this is our giveaway card for this episode. If you want to participate in that, we'd love to give our cards away. There we go. And the money saver on the right hand side, definitely check that out. All the other items are listed below if you want to pick just maybe the cutting die, just the embossing folder that's down below. Also, if you click on the full color photos down below, there's full supply lists of, for each card. If you're watching us on our YouTube channel, don't worry about it, we've got you covered. Just look below the video in the description box and click on the link that'll take you to this Paper Wishes webisode page. Thanks for joining me today, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.